What's going on everybody? I am Mr. Fred and welcome to another one of these games. Sakura Sadist. We know why we're here. I don't need to say why I downloaded this. I don't need to say how I found it. I don't need to explain any of that. You guys already know. You know that we're here for something inappropriate, probably very, very inappropriate, because for some reason that's popular on my channel. I don't know why you guys like it so much. It's a little, little weird to me, but you guys do. These, you know, the, when I played, uh, what, what was it called? Um, Doki Doki Literature Club. That performed well on my channel. I didn't even finish it and that performed well, which I do plan on finishing it. Hopefully, if I can manage to get my save file from my old computer into this one, then I do plan on finishing it. Also, Hoonie Pop. One episode of that did better than most of my videos. Yeah. So, looks like we're playing this because it does well on my channel and don't know why, so we're just gonna start. I don't even need to explain. All right. Well, this is a thing. What is it, just, just a, like t -t today junior is this just is this the game is it just a picture just just a picture is the game that's it okay well um uh do i click do i do anything apparently i click okay <sighs> i don't know if i'm prepared for this you guys i really don't know if i'm prepared to do this again but we're gonna do it ah Azusa, I you. Mamiko. Ooh. That's a good voice. Mamiko. Very mysterious. Mamiko's face is flushed a soft, pale pink. I kind of want to take a photo of it so I can keep hold of it forever and ever. But that would probably spoil the mood. Is this like me talking? Like standing back watching this? Am I just standing here? watching this happen and I'm the one saying this? Is that how this is happening? Because <laughs> I don't think me taking a picture is gonna ruin the mood. I think me standing here narrating what's going on is gonna ruin the mood. Okay. Next, I'd have to dig my phone out of the pocket of my shorts. Only I'm not sure where my shorts are since I threw them off and I'm, okay, apparently I'm not the narrator. I'm the girl. Apparently, I'm one of the girls. I've <laughs> really the whole thing would just be a. Oh wow! I'm trans. I'm transforming into a woman as I as I do this. Really, the whole thing would just be a huge waste of time and totally not worth it. Not now. I'm finally with her, my idol. I thought that said something different. I thought that said. So I'm sure some of you out there thought that said something different too. Matsubara Mamiko, not the other thing that I was thinking, all right. If you happen to go to the Victoria Academy of Music, which you probably don't since it's super exclusive, you'll know about Mamiko. Everyone knows about Mamiko. She's like this genius who learned how to play air on the G string on her violin before before most kids say their first words. Air on the G string, is that a, is that like a innuendo type thing? Cause you know, a G string is a type, I'm gonna, you know. Not only that, but she's also insanely good at the piano, the clarinet and the harp. You know, this picture has been here for a while now. Who plays the harp in this day and age? I mean, seriously. She can sing too, and I don't just mean she can sing, like she can really sing. She's a soprano at the university choir, and she gets pretty much all the solo roles. And do you know what the really crazy part is? No, but you're probably going to tell me. The other girls in the choir don't even mind, though they're super catty and are nearly always gossiping because Amiko's so nice and kind and pretty and has really huge boobs. <laughs> We're doing this, people. It's happening. Um, well, maybe the huge boobs are ir irrelevant. <laughs> I don't think so. Also, I'm gonna say 
with the the way I mean like like you can see my mouse yeah you can see my mouse okay you can also see that something's loading apparently like right here right here that is not on the front so not a lot of coverage going on there if that's just on the side there's you know I'm gonna say that's not much coverage also this is not gonna be much coverage either at all I'm gonna move on my bad but it's true Amigo really does have huge boobs. <laughs> I get it. I can tell because I can feel them. <laughs> oh, oh god! Finally, I can feel them. <laughs> I've waited so long. It's just like a dream. Ah, uh, Azusa. Her breasts so large, I can't even cup them with my. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and get through this as a mature adult, okay? Not a 12-year-old boy, but it's really hard right now. Not in that way, shut up! They spill out around my fingertips, all soft and round like... I don't know marshmallows, though I prefer my marshmallows in my hot chocolate. I don't usually grope them. <laughs> You know, I'm the same way. I've never groped a marshmallow either. But groping is a very nice word. I'd never grope a sophisticated pretty lady like Mimiko. Fondle, then. Maybe that sounds better? Not really. So I fondle Mimiko's breast gently through the fabric of her bra. I'm trying. Azusa. Mimiko sounds so shy and helpless. It makes me want to dig my fingers into her skin a little hard. Okay. Careful. Don't kill her. I want- Oh, boy. Do ya? Okay, we're not gonna read that. We're gonna move on. Maybe I'm kind of sadistic. I'm not a control freak like Murray, but when it comes to Amico, I just can't help myself. I'm getting hot. My body feels like it's burning. Well, you might have a fever. You know, that you might have the flu. Like, that could be, like, maybe you're hallucinating this right now. I start to rub my th- Okay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. But I'm not, all right, not the only one. Azusa. I wanted to hear Mamiko say my name like this for, I don't know how long. Feels like forever. Does it? But what, is this like actually what happened? Did they just jump ahead in the story so we know what happens? Okay. When I first enrolled at the Victoria Academy, I saw Mamiko standing beneath one of the many cherry blossom trees that lined the campus, her long hair fluttering in the breeze. I was lost and didn't know where to go. Mamiko helped me find my way around. She did it so politely, too, with a small smile, like she actually wanted to help. She treated me so kindly, though we were complete strangers. She asked for my name. I stammered shyly, and I'm not usually shy. I was... Usui Azusa. All right, Miss Usui. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was a pleasure meeting her too, though I really, really wish she'd call me by my first name. Not Miss Usui. Azusa. And now, finally. Back to the picture. Cause why not? Why not? Wait a minute. I have an idea for Mamiko. I have an idea. Uh, Azusa. Azusa, I, um, uh. It sounds better than I imagined. It feels better than I imagined. How is it? Clicked off the screen, apparently. That's how it is. Okay, we're back. Don't worry. When you click off the screen, it screws up the recording, apparently. It, like, freezes it, and I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Nice. Mm, don't stop. Oh wait, no, that's Mamiko. Okay, that's Mamiko. Okay, I, I, I see. It's gonna be easy to get confused. Nice. Mmm, mmm. D, don't stop, please. Wasn't planning on it. I give her my best debonair grin, which Mary always says makes me look like a pervert, and give Mamiko's breast another squeeze. <laughs> Why not? All right. Gonna blur that out. You guys don't need to see that. <laughs> Yeah! Okay! 
maybe you will, but you guys aren't gonna see this. This, if you wanna see this, you can play the game on your own. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> it's a choice based game. I have the option. Great. Okay, so. I have no idea what I'm playing. I don't know if I should be playing this. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for playing this. I don't know if it's going to be like, mm, I don't know. But, all right, we're going to pinch him. Just screw it. Pinch him. No, no. She dances beneath me. Her back curves and straightens. Her fingertips tremble. How do fingertips tremble? How does that happen? How is that a thing that happens? Uh, Azusa, please. What? Be, be gentle. It, um... She squirms. It's my first time. Suddenly that's brought in. All right. You've never let anybody play with your boobs before? N no. And I'm happy I could be the first. All right. Yep. We're gonna... Blur that out as well, because you guys don't need to see that. I might actually be playing porn. Apparently they allow this on Steam now. Didn't know that. Ah. Uh, mm, ah. She's falling apart. That's not good. Who the hell? All right. Oh. Okay. Skipping that too. Maybe it is just your imagination. That's fine. We don't need to skip that. So this is going to be a lot of work for me. You can hear my own heart beating. It's pretty loud. It's panning in my ear. Pa panding? 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 Panding. New word, apparently. It's pounding in my ears over and over. Azusa. 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 Mamiko. And then... I wake up. Azusa! I feel a pressure against my shoulders, fingers gripping into my skin hard. Really hard! Ow! Mamiko would never handle me so roughly. What happened to the music? Like, where'd it go? Where, why is there no music anymore? This is weird. I got no music now, so that's cool. It can't be her. In fact, I don't think it was ever her. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. the fantastical scene before my eyes dissolves. It melts away just like the poor marshmallows in my hot chocolate. Okay. Leaving behind nothing more than a sticky gooey mess. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. I'm in my bedroom curled up in my bed clinging to a stuffed pillow. I'm even drooling. Gross. My eyes are all crusted over with sleep. Okay. Double gross. Uh, why must life be so cruel? I wipe my eyes with the back of my arm. It was just a dream after all. I should have known. It would be a dream. Hi, who are you? Uh, okay. Don't know who this is, just got introduced to this person. <sighs> Why do I choose games with girls? Because I'm not very good with girl voices. All right, here we go. Wake up, Azusa! You're going to be late for your 9 a.m. meeting with Professor Shibata! Is that like a, like a bread? No, that's Chibata. Never mind. Again! Professor Chibata? Screw him! I like pup better! I wish I could snuggle down under my blankets and get a few more minutes of sleep. Sleep sounds really nice right about now, especially if I can dream about her again. Mamiko. Mamiko on her flushed face, her matching underwear, and her so Okay. Azusa! Instead, I'm stuck with this serious looking girl with a frowning face. 
Sumino Marie. So Marie, okay, so this is Marie. Well, her real name is actually Marilyn, but she gets pissy when people call her that, so it's better not to. Not if you value your life. Okay. Tell, tell Marie you're getting up or ter tell Marilyn you're getting up. Well, I don't value my life, obviously, since I'm playing this right now. Marilyn! All right, all right, I'm getting up. Don't look at me like that, Marilyn! Azusa! <coughs> uh. yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry, sorry, force of habit. Okay. Honestly. Marilyn, sorry, Mary, sighs, running a hand through her hair. Really? Is she? Is she now? I don't think she is. All right. You're you're such a lazy good for nothing, Azusa. I'm surprised you even bother opening your eyes in the mornings. Hey, I resent that. I'm not completely good for nothing. No, that's true. I'll give you credit where credit's due. You're rather good at being late to appointments, forgetting engagements, and saying inappropriate things at inappropriate times. Wow, thanks, wifey. I love you, too. I get to my feet and give Mary a quick kiss on the cheek. She pouts and folds her arms, but doesn't try to push me away. Maybe she's gotten used to it. So wait, what? Am I, am I, am I like, married to this girl? Is this, like, my sister? After all these years, I've finally worn her down. What, what, what is the relationship here? I have so many unanswered questions. Huh. That sounds kind of abusive, actually. Oh well! I smile to myself, still reliving, reliving my dream as I get dressed. Okay. Hmm. Have you some shame? Would you? I. D okay. She was dressed. Now. What just happened? She was dressed before this. I don't know what that word means. Maybe I should buy you a dictionary. Silly Marie, does my naked body really excite you that much? Not naked, but still at the same time, like she was dressed, now suddenly she's not dressed. I don't get it. No, no, not really. I just think it's improper. You shouldn't strip down at the drop of a hat. But how else am I supposed to get dressed? Couldn't you wait until I'm out of the room? But we've been friends for so, so long. I thought you wouldn't mind. I mean, we even used to take baths together. Okay, well, I just got very interested in this story. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Azusa. Who cares? You should care. Well, how about this? Why don't you look at it as free service? What do you mean, service? But Marie doesn't leave. Instead, she harumps powdily and turns her head. Well, whatever, just hurry up. Can do. I retrieve my clothes, which are scattered all across the floor, and start to pull them on. They were on. Hmm. I frown, patting down my chest with my hands. It's not like they're small, but compared to Mamiko, compared to Mary. Stop staring at my chest, Azusa. Ah! How did you know I was staring? Because you always stare. Ooh, I thought I was being subtle. Okay. You're about as subtle as a fist in the face. Now hurry up. Yes, ma'am. I give Mary a salute and finish tugging on my shorts. Shh. <laughs> This is what she had on before. She undressed for no goddamn reason and then put the same thing on. I'm not complaining, but your continuity errors there. Yeah, cause this game cares about that so much. I don't know why I'm, d I'm mm. <sighs> So Mary, what's for breakfast? Who said I made you any breakfast? 
please, does she think I'm stupid or something? You always make me breakfast. You're in university now, Azusa. You're old enough to cook for yourself. And I'm old enough to go to prison if I happen to burn my dorm down. You are such a spoiled brat. I know, right? <clears throat> Mary sighs. What am I going to do with you? Let me forever and ever. I bite my, I bat my. Bite? Wow, she's biting her own eyelashes. That's interesting. I bat my eyelashes at her winsomely. Mary groans and pushes me away. Well, how could you? Quite easily. But, but rabbits die when they get lonely, Mary. Then it's a good thing you're not a rabbit now. I made you an omelet. It's sitting in the pan over the stove. I knew it! All according to plan! Yay! I love you, Mary! You're the best! But you have to eat it quickly, alright? You have 20 minutes! Can do! I'm an unstoppable machine when it comes to food! I could eat my weight in rice in under a minute! Whenever I go to all-you-can-eat buffets, the serving staff end up in tears! Mary says that isn't something I should boast about! I disagree! Alright, next scene. Next scene means that, uh... We're gonna go ahead and stop this here. We're gonna, we're gonna stop. This is the end of this episode and God, I hope this series, I swear if this ends up doing well on my channel and you guys end up wanting to see more, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'll be disappointed, but at the same time, I'll do it because well, what you want to see so anyways if you guys enjoyed this first episode of whatever the hell we just witnessed then uh like the video leave me a comment let me know if you want to see some more share it with your friends if you really thought it was that good if you want to torture them too kind of rude but go ahead and do that and uh as always i'll catch you guys in the next one